The Random Geottings of Donald J. Froome Nelson in Pendle. Long Preston and the Maypole and the Devil's Children. In the quiet village of Long Preston, nestled between the towns of Skipton and Settle, there lay a peculiar tradition that unfolded every first of May. As the clock struck one minute past twelve, the atmosphere in the village shifted. It was as if the very air thickened, carrying with it another worldly presence. This was the hour when the maypole dancing commenced. But there was an air of mystery that surrounded this event. Locals spoke of it in hushed whispers, half in awe and half in fear. They said that on this night, the devil's children emerged from the shadows, taking the form of small, sinister figures with eyes that gleamed with a wicked light. These devilish children would gather around the maypole, a relic of ancient customs, bedecked with ribbons and garlands. Their laughter, high and eerie, would punctuate the night, sending shivers down the spines of those who dared to listen. As the night wore on, the villagers claimed that the malevolent revelry attracted even darker entities. Goblins slunk from their hideaways, drawn by the unholy celebration. Bogarts, with their mischievous grins, joined in the macabre dance, while the elusive and ethereal fae flitted through the trees, adding a touch of magic to the sinister affair. The maypole itself seemed to pulse with an otherworldly energy, as if it were a bridge between realms, connecting the mortal world to the hidden one. The ribbons wound around it took on a life of their own, weaving and twirling in a wicked ballet. Amongst the chaos, there were whispers of ancient pacts and deals, of bargains struck beneath the silver light of the moon. It was said that those who witnessed the devil's children and their ghastly companions were forever changed, marked by the experience. Yet, as the first light of dawn began to break, the eerie procession would fade away, leaving the village of Long Preston in an uneasy stillness. The mayhem and malevolence vanished, as if it had never been. In the following days, the villagers would return to their routines, their memories of that unholy night shrouded in a fog of disbelief. They would go about their business, quietly ignoring the strange occurrences, trying to convince themselves that it was all but a fevered dream. But there, in the hearts of the villagers, lingered a silent understanding. They knew that the devil's children and their ghastly companions would return, as they always did every first of May, to dance around the maypole, leaving behind an indelible mark on Long Preston, and its history forever intertwined with the realm of the supernatural. By Donald J.